Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Let's Experiment with Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. So, I looked up why the Scroll of Awakening wasn't working, and apparently the way I was trying to do it is a way that's a bit temperamental, and sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. I must have just gotten lucky the first, time, the first couple of times I tried it, and that's why it's not been working properly. Um... And, um, the other way you can revive people is something I tried to do last time. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm not, and I'm also not entirely sure. If this does break, um, if this doesn't work, then I will probably just stop. Because I'm, I'm not good at video games. No, no, that's not quite true. I'm good at puzzle games, and I love stories, but that doesn't mean I'm good at them. I'm, I'm, I'm good at reading, and I'm good at puzzles, but I'm not good at combat in games, and this is a very combat-heavy game, which is why we're fighting with people that we've already traded with to go through these tunnels. I still can't get over that. That is just stupid. But we've got to have a network of tunnels to lead to the cathedral so that we can have a fight. We can have a series of little tiny fights, and then probably have a boss fight in the cathedral. And then, oh no! Ugh, sorry. I'm, I'm just ranting. I haven't even started. Like, if, if, if it doesn't work, then I'm not going to be able to finish this game. Without, mul without a lot of ranting and a lot of reloading. Um, which I don't think is, any is, some is something that anyone really wants me just to keep having to reload because uh, I assume that the combat is going to get more difficult um, as the game progresses um, yeah this is turning into more of an update video isn't it um, if it does work th there's still part of me saying you just take a break right there's a hold of them you get them you get them guys attack them and die horribly for science. No, no, don't attack me. Oh my goodness. These vampires. They're no way to science at all. Hmm. Thinking about it. Who was the least help? Serana! Serena! Serena! So whatever your name is. You go first. Right. Go on, attack me. No, no, no. Bad. No! Bad, Kristoff! Bad, Kristoff! We're sciencing! I'm upset that the AI is at... This is annoying. This is annoying me. Before last session, when I didn't want to die, the AI was like, "Oh, I can't. We can't fight." Oh no! But these guys are tough around here, aren't they? I think they're tougher. You go first. Got to thank you. I'm sure. No. Oh dear. You guys are terrible at this. Right. Okay. I know he's around here somewhere. The hunger is upon me and I must feed. No, you mustn't. What are you talking about? Yeah, your health is a bit low. But I, I don't even Yeah, I know you're laughing. I know you're laughing. This is for science, sir. Uh... I'm gonna run back here to the light. Right, Philem. Philem's dying. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Nasiratu. Now we can science. Now we can science. Just hit him. Oh, oh dear. Everyone's gonna die now. Right, right, right. <clears throat> science. Right. Oh, you're, you're taking quite a battering there, my dear. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. Do I do that? Blood. I crave blood. 
but I was doing that last time. This makes no sense. I don't... I... Uh... Hmm. I'm still tempted not to do this. Um, okay. I... But I, I tried that before and it did... This seems like it has a very temperamental system. Hmm. Oh dear, this is going to make it really awkward because I'm fairly sure I did. Okay. I must be honest, I can't get past the fact that we've just paid the Nosferatu to enter this area and the people who are upset that we are travelling through this area are the Nosferatu. It's like, I paid you guys a toll, and I know... <laughs> like, what's, th what's the point of... of giving some... doing like a mini fetch quest for a member of the Nosferatu to travel through these... through the Nosferatu tunnels if the people who are going to fight me for entering the Nosferatu tunnels are the Nosferatu? It's just... Oh. It makes just no sense. I get that this is a combat focused game rather than a storyline thing, but why not just have other people why not why not have other people be attacking the Nosferatu? Like the the the, the well, what are we fighting like revenants and and the ghoul rats and everything. Why not have them be... Oh, well, it was the Tsumitsi. Why not have them be attacking? And the price of the Nosferatu um, letting you through the tunnels is kill the big bad who's leading them and then you get access and then you end up in the cathedral you do your little resolution there instead of having a big fight and then a resolution afterwards which I'm sure is what's going to happen because you get your big fights you get your oh yeah it's the sword that I won't use oh it's rusty rusty I still won't use it I almost certainly won't it's like the storyline is, is The general storyline isn't that bad, or at least I don't think it is. One. Is that someone? Oh, is that... Well, did someone just attack me? I'm clearly not paying attention. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention, am I? Um, when do you ever dragons do? I'm just standing here and ranting, aren't I? It makes no sense. Right, the overall storyline is kind of. So far, there isn't really one. It's just like. We've impressed some vampires who decided to turn us, and we're now a vampire. Vampires! Mate, there isn't a plot. There isn't an overall plot to the game. There is a. You did this thing, now do this thing. Um, like, I, I can't even, I, I legitimately cannot remember why we're doing this. Enter Joseph, I mean, I've got a terrible memory, so that might be have something to do with it, but it's like, I've got to go and get the arm of St. George, although, I, wh why, why arm, why... I'm confused. I'm fairly sure he was beheaded. Why not head? Why not? What's going on? Why St. George? I'm sure we're in Prague. 
We're in Bohemia. I'm sure Bohemia has its own saint. Actually, maybe St. George is the saint, is the patron saint of Bohemia. I know it's the patron saint of Georgia as well as of England. But, um, uh, I'm babbling. It's what you always do, Dregs. I know. So, but I'm doing that to give to the prince in exchange for him something, something, something. Something. I, I legitimately can't remember any of this. And for those of you wondering, it was last night that I recorded. So... Uh, there's not even any kind of... Like, th there's no button to look back because the story is just irrelevant to the game. And it bothers me. And I'm just complaining and ranting. And it's like... If you think of an action RPG kind of thing, where you're going around and hitting things, you think of Diablo. And Diablo 2 has a plot. And it's not just a sequence of things after each other. Yes, it is a sequence of, th of quests that happen after each other. You unlock this quest, then you unlock this quest. Um, then maybe you pick up another quest and you've got two running at, at the same time. Just <laughs> be careful there, we might not be able to handle two at the same time. <sighs> but, um... This is basically, we have one quest line all the way through. And it's not really a quest line, it's... You do a thing, and then you do a thing, and then... Here's another thing, do it. I'm basically ranting about this for, for an entire episode. Um, I should, I should. I need to make the decision now. Am I going to keep playing this session, or am I going to do something else? And I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards doing something else. Um. But yeah, it, it's like okay. Let's look at this. Let's look. Okay, let, let's think about. What we've done from the beginning. We um, woke up. We explored. We, okay, so quests. So not what I've done. Because I know I've explored and I've gone and bought things and whatever. And then found them lootable later on. Because that's just my kind of luck. Um, um, there were issues with the silver mines. So we went and... Um, attacked the silver mines and we killed all the creatures in there. And yay, silver! Um, did we do any other quests then? I think we did, I think, no, I don't think we did any other quests then. Oh, no, no, no. We then patrolled um, the town at night and that's when a Katarina found us and was like, you'd be a good vampire and yum. And we became a vampire. Uh... She then sent us off to collect this Nod Fragment. Um, because the Cappadocians had stolen it. But that's not really connected other than we've become a vampire. That's not connected. We went and killed Makaba, the golem. There's no connection there. We took the thing back to Mendel. And then we took it back to Garant, and then we took the thing, and he didn't want to keep it, the, like, the thing controlling the golem. And he didn't want to keep it, so we gave, took it back to Garant, or basically to make up for the fact. But he wasn't actually bothered by the fact that we'd gone in and slaughtered his entire clan. Um, well, I say his entire clan, obviously Serena and a few others, probably exceptions to that, but... And now we have to go and get the reliquary. The reliquary. The relic. The arm of St. George. And once we've done, and, and to do that, we've met Joseph, who sent us to get. So, okay, so there's a connection here. There's a little kind of connection here, but okay, and, and there's a connection, but there's no, there's no, there's no story overarching everything. That's it. That is, here's the main, here's one main quest, and here's here, which flows naturally onto here. Like we didn't learn about the golem while recovering the Nod fragment. I don't think we did. Did we? Maybe we did, and I'm forgetting. But, the, I, I, there was nothing, there's nothing from the Golem quest 
that connected us to go to Prince Brandle to ask for something that he's then sent us to get the arm of St. George for. At least as far as I remember. My memory, my memory is quite bad at times. What's back here? I'm not sure I want to go any further. I'm scared. So all this section. Oh, there's a rat over there. I just... Uh, a halberd. That's delightful. I wouldn't use it. I'm gonna stop. I, I'm, I'm stopping playing this. I've just basically bought out a rant for... and, and messed around. So I, I know that the scrolls are perfectly fine. I don't want... no, I don't want... I don't want it. I don't want them there. So we know that the scrolls are f we know that the scrolls f are fine, but I'm thinking about it, and I just at the moment I just have no desire to play this anymore. And and the scroll stuff is, I think, kind of the pushing the kind of breaking point where it's like, okay, the scrolls seem to work sometimes and not others. The storyline's not good, and mechanically, it's not a great game. I know that everyone says uh, like Vampire Masquerade Bloodlines has a much better story, and but it's not so focused on the combat. But even then, the combat in that was better. Um, I'm trying to think. Like this, this feels like uh, this. This actually feels like the credit scramble. But this feels a little bit like someone made a game for Vampire, put it, and, and was kind of like. Here is a first draft. Well, okay, here's... Well, maybe not a first. Here's a first draft. Here's an idea of what we could do with it. And then it's kind of gone through and someone's gone, Okay, test it. Test it and release it. And it's like, well, it's it's not... It, why? It's... it's uh, I might come back to this. We might return to Kristoff. I do kind of want to for various reasons, because I'm mad. Um, I do like finishing what I start, but... Uh, there's also a reason why I want to play something else, um, which I'll talk about when I start it. But yeah, this is this is um, uh, stopping with Christoph because uh, uh, the story is, is annoying me, and the combat is frustrating, and the AI is a mess, and I just don't have the patience at the moment. I mean, having just started a, uh, a job, I kind of want to use my gaming time on, on games that really kind of make me excited. Um, he says about half, half of the games he's actually let's play for that, and half don't, but... At least the Bureau's fun to rant about, is to play and kind of mock. This is just kind of frustrating at times. So yes, we're going to... Well, I'm actually going to stop here, um, and we'll take a break. I'm not entirely sure how long it will be. I don't know when I'm going to return to this, um, which is true with pretty much everything that I've got on ice at the moment, which is a list that is growing terrifyingly long. Um, but I've got to think this is a hobby, and I'm meant to be enjoying it. So let's play something I think I'll enjoy. Um, I hope you join me for something else. I hope you're not too upset by the fact I'm stopping. Um, as I say, I, I don't like not finishing things I start, so there is a good chance I will come back to this at some point. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.